Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we got some more Lego Harry Potter years five through seven videos rolling out, and this one happens to be for level two Dumbledore's Army Story. We're gonna get a level trophy achievement for completing it called Off the Beaten Track. We're gonna shoot for that true wizard requirement by our math that happens to be 45k. We're also gonna pick up a gold brick for completing the level and a couple of gold bricks along the way in the old hubba bubba. Uh, as you guys probably remember in the story times, there is often some stuff you have to do in the hub in order to advance. Sometimes you have to learn spells. Sometimes you have to uh, unlock or, I guess, lock certain things. So uh, in our case, we're going to keep on keeping on down the pathway here and follow the old ghost blue stud trail. And it actually takes us inside the old leaky cauldron here. Check it out. I, mean, I think this is our first experience in the years five through seven inside the old leaky cauldron. And, uh, oh, look at that. The old back door exit here takes us out on the street. And we got to make our way up and around and all the way down. So use Wingardium Leviosa to go ahead and open the doors. And let's go ahead and go down below where the old trains uh, go go. Oh, check it out. We got a guy here who requires a ticket. So uh, we got to find a place to pick one of those up. And, oh, look at that. There's the symbol we're looking for right there. We're going to use Leviosa one more time to go ahead and flip that lever up and give us the ticket in need. And here you go, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, to the air. We'll go ahead and hit that button indicated for us. It was triangle. Go ahead and hop on the old train and get our choo-choo on. And uh, I'm not sure where we're going to end up. Actually, I totally know where we're going to end up. But I don't want to spoil it for you. I'm sure if you've read the books or seen the movies or maybe even played this game once before, you know what is in store. So we're going to end up uh, finding our way up and around. Oh, look at that. It's Hogsmeade. We're going to find... Oh, wait, what? We got uh, no control until the train gets them all the way through. And, oh, check it out. Speaking of all the way through, let's go ahead and make our way through into the forest area. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. I've kind of lost the name of this area right here. It is a little different than the old one through four years. And uh, to be completely honest, I had a little bit of a brain fart right here as I was kind of confused. Now, I know in the movie, both Harry and Luna both can see the, uh, I guess it's, I don't know if I want to call it an animal or a monster, but uh, the creature, so to speak, that's pulling these carts along. And we know that you have to have a cart in order to advance here. So we were kind of looking around, busting everything up. You know the rule of Lego, when in doubt, butt slam everything in your path. And, and unfortunately, we can't do a lot of butt slamming in this game, as old Dougie Fresh 613 pointed out to me. He uh, kind of rained on my parade when I said, hey, man, I want to butt slam everything in sight. And he said, hey, you can't, man. It's you Remember, you got a wand and you... And, aww. Such a boring, uh, I guess it's not boring, it's pretty cool. I guess butt slams are getting old these days. We do a lot of butt slamming in our other LEGO videos, so hey, why not uh, switch it on up? And speaking of switching it on up, we need to make our way up there. I could tell I need to get to that broken down cart, but I was having a heck of a time getting up this pathway. And as it turns out, there is actually a preferred path for you to take. And uh, it requires a little bit of magic to go ahead and move some shrubs out of the way. And oh, look out for that mushroom guy! I don't know uh, what's going on there. I do not remember him from the movies, uh, and I never read the books, full full disclosure. So, uh, yeah, if you guys know what those mushroom guys are, I know there's a couple of you out there that are Harry Potter fanatics that are already correcting some of my mistakes. Ha ha ha. But uh, that's all right. That's what you guys are here for. I got, I'm never going to learn and improve my commentary if you guys aren't helping me get there. So... Uh, oh, to the, yeah, we have uh, used the wheel from the broken down wagon up top and we placed it on the one down below. We have also smashed up and rebuilt the rest of the pieces into, what is this, a bench? I don't know what's supposed to go down here, maybe a little, uh, I don't know, I don't know, a hangout spot up on the pathway. But hey, all of a sudden there is another wheel down in this bush here, which uh, as it turns out was not there before. So uh, once you get that one from up above, the one down below should appear. You can go ahead and hop on the old cart and move on down, move on down the road. Oh, and check it out. We have made our way into another courtyard. And uh, once we get into this door here, we're actually going to get into one of the first cutscenes that I'm actually going to shut my yapper for and let you guys enjoy. Ah. 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 Ah.
Certainly no expert, but what we just saw there was old Dolores Umbridge showing up from the old Ministry of Magic. She's actually been sent to go ahead and kind of watch over Hogwarts and kind of get things back up to speed. Uh, they are not happy with uh, recent performances, uh, especially with the result in one of the students, uh, well, in a tragic ending. It, it, it ended for Cedric a little earlier than everyone anticipated or wanted. And uh, that being said, uh, yes, they've got a little bit of a chaperonage hanging out now. So, uh, Also followed by some nightmares that Harry continues to have. So I wonder what those could mean. Now, uh, we are going to do some more following of Nearly Headless Nick through the hallways of Hogwarts. And uh, as you can see here, we have had to get some flowers there for that young young lady standing by the door. I actually am not 100% sure which person that is, so I'm not going to mention it, and I'm sure you guys will tell me down below in the comments. But uh, we are making our way through the nice little school here, and uh, what you can see Dolores cracking the whip over there, separating people, as she does in the movie. And it uh, looks like we're going to go upstairs, and I'm pretty sure, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure this is the old Defense Against the Dark Arts room. And as we show up, we got a little bit of a cutscene here, but uh, it's actually pretty short, so I'm going to talk Ron over it. You can see that the, uh, the old bully's in the corner there picking on old Ron and Harry, and Ron gets all upset and writes a very different for what will be what we're doing here. So we know we're going to find ourselves an airplane, paper that is, and uh, right off the bat, we actually, <laughs> speaking of right off the bat, look at that. Uh, we actually find ourselves with some glowy bits that we can destroy. And once we do, uh, we can actually find a what appears to be a shovel we can hand to Buddy. And I'm already behind here. As soon as we do that, we actually find this weird, I don't know what this is. I always forget what this item is. It's some sort of a, I don't know if it's a cup or a cap or a lamp or something. But what we need to do is actually use this little sweepy broom here and clean up the whole spider web up above. Uh, and we actually need to reveal that piece as well. So now we actually have two pieces that are going to go on a cauldron, which has yet to be found. And the cauldron is actually going to have a little polyjuice in it so we can sip on some juice and find our way to some muscles or muscles for those of you who don't like to pronounce the C in that word. And, uh, yeah, so what we need to do is actually come to this front and left corner. I was actually lost, and to be completely honest with you, this whole section, this whole video was a little bit of a doozy, if I do say so myself. I, you know, most things in LEGO are pretty self-explanatory, but that's kind of current day LEGO. A lot of these early LEGO things are not as easily figured out. Um, and, and to be honest with you, normally I have a guide all prepared <clears throat> from Doug, and uh, to be honest with you, we, uh, he's not much further than I am at this point, so no uh, shame on him, it's actually me, no normally I'm a little bit more on the ball here, and speaking of which, I have found the pieces needed in the front left corner here to go ahead and build up this cauldron and now it's just a matter of getting our slam dunkage on and finding all these items that we've already found so uh we found one by using the broom with the spider we found another for helping buddy with the shovel and we found the other for taking out the bat that was flying around on that targeted covering uh chest up behind the right side so look at that da -da 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 we got our popeye on after drinking that poly juice and i still haven't figured out that you need to hold the button rather than spam 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 so i get my press on and look at that all of a sudden we've got some paper and booyaka show we got ourselves a paper airplane we're gonna go ahead and send it on over draco malfoy's way and uh oh unfortunately what's her name Dolores comes in and uh, she makes it rain some simple stuff and basically tells us, hey, guess what? You guys are no longer allowed to use your defense against the dark arts. Actually, that's not what she says, but she does take our stuff away. You can see the D-A-D-A. -D -A. The da-da is banned. Uh, and look at that. She's taking them away. So they are no longer there. And oh, there's one of those extra gold bricks that I was talking about that we got along our journey. Now, 
Um, I have to be honest, uh, Doug was telling me I needed to press the button to see it, but I'm not seeing any indication of like the true wizard status. You know, normally when you get studs, it kind of shows that meter filling up above, and I'm not running into that at all. But hey, let's get some muscles going one more time. Da -da 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 really, that's not at all what we need to do. Uh, to be completely honest with you, I am so used to the newer games, especially LEGO Dimensions, with as much as I've played, that I keep forgetting that there are certain characters that have secondary abilities that will help us out. And in this case, we actually need Hermione's cat Crookshanks to bust out and uh, get his claw on, so to speak, and make his way up that tube in the corner there. Now, at first look, it kind of seems like that might be a free play situation, but it's not. And rather than make you wait and watch me wander around a whole bunch more before I figure this out, I went ahead and did a clean edit there. At least I tried to make it as clean as possible. And look at that, the old kitty cat made it up and around and down and pushes the key. How handy is that? Now we got a way out of here, so we can go ahead and blast that key in the door and booyaka show we got nearly headless nick standing outside waiting for us and luckily for us he's taking us right where we need to go next which is over to the left where are you going hermione actually it's me I, where, where are you going her Brianny? <laughs> All right, look at that. Is that a golf club or is that a ladle? I'm not sure, but regardless of what it is, Buddy's got it down there, and I'm still not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it's a ladle, but I'm just trying to make a joke. It kind of looks like a golf club. We're going to go ahead and chase him around the lower area here, and once he gets over on the far left side, he goes ahead and drops it because it's probably hot, and we're going to go ahead and pick it up and take it up to Buddy up top. Luckily for us, there's a nice little arrow system that works pretty much any time you pick up an item that needs to be placed or given to somebody uh, it, it guides the way which is nice I know there's been some complaints about years one through four not having uh, ghost stud trails and things at times and there's been some errors and, and plus there was that weird error where you got stuck in that room down below hopefully that's all been fixed for the new edition here and uh, yeah so as you can see we uh, gave the ladle to buddy all of a sudden we had a box we used the box we lifted it up and fed the snake and Oh, to the yeah, we're following nearly headless Nick again, and oh, what's this? Again, another little <laughs> brain fart. I actually forgot about spells. Now, I know they just took some spells away, and I was honestly kind of thinking that the important stuff had all been removed from us, but that's not true at all. We actually have what we need here is Lumus Solum to go ahead and make our way through the viney stuff here. Like, uh, again, I, I was kind of having like this moment of like, oh no, who who does the vine cutting? I don't remember. And and as it turns out, we I think all of us actually have old Lumus. So we can go ahead and switch our spell on over by holding down the normally the character select wheel but it turns out it's the spell select wheel for us in the lego harry potter games which is not confusing at all there tt games <laughs> anyhow all right we are making our way down the old bridge here following nearly headless nick again why I, I, I hope i got that right it's been a while since i've referred to him watch it's probably like uh, almost headless Nick or something. Uh, no, I'm sure I got that right. But oh, we need some more Solum. So we're gonna go ahead and whip it out because now we, as you can see, we had switched on over to Hera. And oh, to the yeah, we've got that door open. We can keep on keeping on. And oh, is that Luna? Let's go ahead and follow Luna now. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like this might be where the level starts. But again, not sure. But hey, what's that? Let's go find out. <laughs> So a little, little disclaimer while we're here, uh, some more confusing times coming up, and, and unfortunately the worst has yet to come. So, hey, look at that. We actually have a character token available to us. Now, as you know, or maybe you don't, so we'll go ahead and tell you, we actually save all of the collectibles that we can for free play. Now, every once in a while, there is a level or perhaps a gold brick that doesn't allow us to skip. We need to grab it in order to advance in the level, and uh, sometimes that happens. Hopefully, we won't run into that. Uh, so far, so good. We've been able to avoid all of the unneeded collectibles, and, and hey, you know, feel free to collect them a 
along your way. It's just we as video producers like to make things as easy as possible for you guys. So some of you guys like to watch the story and see what's going down or maybe you're stuck on the level and can certainly find some help in our story videos while others actually have no desire to watch the story. They just want to know where the collectibles are. So we try to keep them all in one video and make it easy for you. So speaking of making it easy for you, we have followed the path up top and we're going to go ahead and use Wingardium Leviosa on the tree, which opens up and gives us some bricks that we can build up into a fishing pole. Look at that. Let's get our fishing on. I was a little skeptical of what was going down here, but as it turns out, this uh, weird looking guy here needs to be fed a nice little goldfish. So uh, we hooked that up and now he flies off. And I was a little confused as to what I'm supposed to do next. I, I got to be honest. I kind of trudge around here like I have no clue what's going on. And in all honesty, that's exactly what's what's happening. I don't know what's going on. So I walk around quite a bit. Um, I probably could have edited this out a little bit. And, uh, well, maybe I should. Right about. Mm, oh, there's a there's a student in peril. We don't want to we don't want to do that again. Another one of those items that we'll go ahead and come back for in our free play. So as it turns out, we actually have the ability to jump now with Harry. Um, I'm not sure why the case is. You guys probably know better than I. But as you can tell, only one of our wands is lit up now. As we started this level, both wands were lit up, and uh, we kind of used that when we fed the goldfish i don't know somehow for some reason we no longer have a, a lit up wand so our tip has uh, depreciated in value giggity and look at that so i'm kind of switching around wondering what to do but as it turns out Hera has the ability to jump now so for some reason that <laughs> that light at the end of the wand is apparently really heavy because you cannot jump or be any what agile when you have that active but hey look at that i see the poi pole up there and i'm like hey man i need to get up there man but see i already tried getting up there before i fed the goldfish and unfortunately i'm just now realizing hey wait a minute i'm jumping for joy wait a minute i'm jumping for joy and then i finally make it way back over there but uh you know sometimes i like to edit things out and make it quick and easy for you other times i like to kind of show the struggle because sometimes the struggle is real and, uh, you know, I'm glad that this, this game right here in this moment actually makes me so glad that the LEGO games have evolved in, in the way that they have. I know some people think they're too easy or some people don't think there's enough puzzles. I mean, there's all sorts of complaints or, um, you know, I, I guess praises to it. Um, and in this particular case, uh, I'm super excited that the games have evolved in a way that you don't need to, like, have a degree in rocket science to figure out some of these puzzles. Like, I have to be honest, I just jumped on that that little ledge back there but it didn't seem to do anything and i'm still not sure what to do i mean i've wasted like two or three minutes here and, and as as i'm recording this i have to be honest i'm like starting to go into a panic i'm like oh my gosh i'm totally wasting everybody's time i'm never gonna figure this out i should totally start over but as it turns out i have not wasted very much time and i've made my way through here and ooh, who i don't know who but we'll have to come back later we gotta that might be a red brick right there, huh? I'm not gonna burst any bubbles or rain on any parades, but we'll have to come back to that later. Um, and now, yeah, as it turns out, there was actually two ways through the old tree there. There was one up top that you could get through to the upper level and one to drop down low. And I was unaware of the upper deck here. I thought you needed to drop down and go around. And hey, look at that, Halloween's around the corner and we got ourselves a nice little pumpkin themed hat. That's pretty convenient. Oh, hey, where'd it go? Uh, I don't know, anyhow. Uh, okay, so we have made our way up and around. Whichever way you chose is just fine with me. And we're going to use Wingardium Leviosa on this plant here, which is going to open up the vine and give us a nice little bouncy path all the way up. And hey, how did I not get that bluesy? Okay, I, I literally stepped right on that, but oh well. And up top, we got a couple of things we can take out, and we're looking for that chicken bone, because apparently Goldfish wasn't good enough. He needs to up his game to some fried chicken. And now that we got that, we uh, we were a little unsure of what to do again, so we jumped all the way back down. And hey, check it out, we've got a bridge missing. That's not good. Oh, look at that, we've got a target down there, and luckily for us, it, it connected. And we've got a bunch of bouncing bricks and a stairway, so we know we're on the right pathway, at least we think we are. And we're going to make our way up there and use Leviosa one more time to go ahead and build up a bridge. And it's actually going to allow us to cross and make us a little bit richer, too, because there's a few bluesies and uh, gold and silver. Oh, oh, no! I 
I missed one of those blues. <laughs> Bummer deal. All right. Uh, here we go. Looks now he's looking for a blue fish. I don't know if that's a blue gill or oh, but look at that. He's flying up above. Use Leviosa to go ahead and smack that bird right in the tuchus, and he'll drop that blue fish. And oh, to the yeah. He's excited. He's gonna fly away. Oh, little creature. I don't know. I was totally random. Oh, what is that? Speaking of random, that is quite the uh, costume or hat she's got on there. And oh, Thestrals unlocked and gold brick added to our arsenal. So hey, there's that extra gold brick. So both of those that were noted in the early menu intro there have both been, uh, well, they both been acquired and now we're following the old blue ghost stud trail up and back and around and so you know earlier i mentioned that i thought that might be the beginning of the level but i wasn't sure well it turns out it's not uh we're actually getting ready to start the level and this level is really short that was one thing that i noticed and do remember about years one through four is that there is a lot of this hubbub stuff where we're running around doing this and that kind of in between uh, and then we actually go and we'll have a story level and it's just like it's quick and easy and all of a sudden it's over and you're like wait what but uh it makes it easy for free play when we come back and get all those collectibles but as we near our destination here i'm just gonna go ahead and talk us out there is a short little cutscene here and we got one more little segment here and i have to warn you it's a doozy it's it's uh lots of confusion and oh psh, we'll talk about it when we get there all right just in case you don't speak moan and groan or mumble which are all easily translatable to well i guess nobody but uh, basically what's going on here is we need to assemble a team or as it's referred to as Dumbledore's army and uh, we got a checklist of a bunch of people we got to round up and we've got a bunch of tasks in order to uh, make that happen so all right first off here is one of the biggest points of confusion I run around like I have no clue what's going on because that's the truth. Um, I, I had kind of forgotten again that old Crookshanks is also capable of digging. So, uh, yeah, you'll have to forgive me for a second or two. I'm not sure what Ron is doing with that banana or banane, as we like to say. But, uh, yeah, he was holding that banane like he was going to do something with it. Speaking of which, I saw a video the other day of a, a guy who had rigged up a series of bananas and wires and somehow was playing, I believe it was Overwatch, uh, just totally random fun fact for you. If you're ever bored and you want to find something totally random, a little bit of science and a little bit of gameage, uh, look up Overwatch Gone Bananas, I think is what it was called. But, uh, all right, speaking of Gone Bananas, I have officially remembered, oh, the kitty cat. So we're going to go ahead and get our perfection out here. And look at that. Oh, thanks, Crookshanks. Wait, what? There was a person in there? Now, I'm sure we've all buried somebody in the sand before. I know I have. But usually the sand is warm. Burying somebody in the snow is just downright cold. Ha ha ha. See what I did there? Oh, a little wordplay. Or as my son likes to say, Dad, you're not punny. Ho 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 ho. He's got a little wordplay of his own going. All right, here we go. We have uh, used our new found friend here and some magic to go ahead and destroy that weird apparatus out there. Uh, then it gave us some pieces we could build into a little makeshift bridge. And check it out where he got across. And there's a whole bunch of... Well, they're coops of some sort. They're not chicken coops, I can tell you that much. Um, and there's four all together, so go ahead and bust open the doors on all of them, and it should give you the needed bricks in order to build what appears to be a head of a, is it a boar? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a boar of some sort. And uh, we'll go ahead and use Leviosa to lift it up, and all right, make the uh, make the pigs dance there. I'm not sure what's going on there, but hip to the hoppa and you just don't stop a and we'll make our way all the way up and as it turns out i was trying to avoid some of this because again i wasn't sure am i still in free roam am i in part of the level i don't know i'm grabbing studs and it's not giving me any stud meter readings it's not changing anything it's not doing anything different than it has been so i was quite confused as to what was going down but check it out we have busted open the uh table there right
right in front of the shop. And then over on the right-hand side, we uh, shook up that barrel and freed the first person. And once they got out, we actually gave them that cup of hot Joe. And, uh, oh, what do you know, Joe? Uh, she has actually manipulated the bigger cup of coffee and melted down the, the blockade, preventing us from making our way to that back house area here. So we can see Buddy there needs a shovel, so we'll uh, try to round one of those up. And let's see, what do we got here? We've got a dog house. We've shooken it up. And, oh, my goodness, we got some bones. Them bones, them bones, them dancing bones. Build them up, and look at that. Buddy's got a top hat and everything. Dancing his little jig. And, oh, wait, what's this? We got bones, more bones. Well, I got all sorts of things going on here. I'm not sure what I need. I thought maybe Buddy needed that, but he doesn't. Oh, we got a bream. So, a bream? <laughs> That's what happens when you say broom and sweep at the same time. It's bream! It's time to bream it up here. You know, with the broom, sweep it, bream. I don't know. That was a failure. I, I, you know you know me, I'm always making up words. That one was unintentional. <laughs> and, uh, oh, so uh, we can see she needs some flowers. So we still need a shovel and we need some flowers. And although we have like this uh, a single flower, we need a bouquet. We got some bouncing bricks over here. Let's build these up, see what this has got. Okay. Looks like some sort of a newspaper dispenser, perhaps. And we got a lock here. Let's go ahead and bust open the lock. And what do we got inside? Um, oh, we got ourselves a shovel. All right, so we got that. We can go ahead and see what's up. Here's a shovel. Can you dig it? Oh, right. Terrible. I know. Terrible. Uh, but he's happy. He's jumping for joy as well. We just need to find some flowers. Now, I actually happen to notice there's a cauldron in the back now. I'm not even sure where that came from. It wasn't there a minute ago, I don't think. Uh, but we actually noticed that there's a couple of items that have been floating around here. The the single flower, the bone, and the whatever other item that is. I, it's like a tooth or something. I remember it being like a serpent's tooth from the first one. But, oh, drink it up and da 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 Oh, we'll go ahead and pull that strong handle. And as it turns out, there's actually another one there that we need to pull. That's actually going to give us the flowers needed for that little lady waiting over on the far right side there. So, all right, I saw some digging stuff, and I remembered, oh, right, Crick Shanks can get his dig on, and uh, he can also get his climb on up through the tube. And if the tube's not complete, use Leviosa to go ahead and place that tube piece up there. And, of course, there's one last piece over here. Look at this. This is kind of weird. I'm not sure exactly where Crook Shanks is coming and going from, but bleh, it's like her belly button pukes out the cat. Um, I know, he's hiding inside of her jacket. It's just the animation looks a little bit suspect. And speaking of suspect, I couldn't find the right spot. It was a funny angle. And I finally got it, and look at that. I have found this. What is that? I don't even know what's going on there. I have to be honest, I play with this quite a bit, thinking, okay, maybe I can switch to another character. They could run up it. Maybe the cat needs to do something with it. No, that's not going to work. Uh, there's some Weasley items there that we can... Uh, Normally, we'd be able to purchase some cool stuff because, you know, the twins, twins, Basil, the twins always be selling all sorts of stuff. And uh, there's a box there, but something's not quite right with that yet. And I'm trying to target everything and anything in this area, and I'm still I'm not quite sure this doesn't or does have anything to do with what we need to do, but it's just not working out for me. But a uh, little, uh, little hint, go for the flowers. That is the one thing we have not done yet. So I thought, okay, what do we need? We need flowers for her, and we haven't moved the flowers there so ooh, probably some flowers in there but instead of going with my instinct I run all the way down and try to raid both of these yards down here which we'd already been in there and got what we needed there and unfortunately I can't find anything there so again the confusion uh, that's so confusing all right ooh, what's that we've got ourselves uh, what is it called again the, uh, the quibbler I think that's what it's called. I don't know. My, my preview window's really small. It's so, so small, as I've mentioned before. But, uh, okay, we can't get in there. We've already checked that one. <laughs> that's a little, little weird animation there, too. I, I've never seen a light pole quite move like that. It's got moves like Jagger. All right, so last but not least, we're going to go ahead and take a little sip of that juice and get our muscles on one more time so we can pump, 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 pump up that flower cart over there and move it out of the way. Revealing the final piece needed which happens to be the flower power and uh, Once we get that we can actually go and present ourselves over on The far back corner over there where some new stuff will pop up watch this wait wait for it flowers. Here you go there lady 
Uh, I should know all these people's names. I did just watch the movie. However, the movie doesn't always talk about all these other characters that come and help out. Some of them are pretty well known, like Cho, which maybe that, that might have been who that was. It makes sense if we're getting flowers for Cho, as Harry kind of has a little thing brewing up. But, uh, all right, what do we got going on here? Uh, as it would turn out, we have solved all of the pieces needed, except for we didn't notice that the other barrel we couldn't break has now been busted open. And look at that, there's some pieces we can manipulate and move up and put into place and open the door. And look at that, we just need to follow it on inside. And uh, look at that, our whole crew moves inside. And oh, uh, wh where is this at? This isn't the leaky cauldron. I'm not sure exactly where this is, but uh, it's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and bust open all three of the taps over here. So that's right, tap the kegs in the back corner here. And there should be some buildable bricks that we can use, which there they are. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's a picture frame. Oh, it's a live action picture frame. It's one of those digital ones. Pretty cool. And look at that, he kicked that serpent right in the... Oh, don't do that! What are you doing? Not a good idea, but... Uh, oh, look, it dropped what we needed for Buddy right here. As you can see, Buddy is wanting... What is that? It's like a red umbrella? No, it's a machete? I don't know what it is, but we got it for him. He's happy. And uh, next up, we can see that this other person here is needing... Looks like a bone hand. And, oh, and look at this, we need some a puppet. And that almost looks like Jenna. I don't know if it is, but from the back, she kind of kind of looks like Jenny. But this is a pretty cool little puppet show. You can see they get their little squabble on, and they move around, and they dance. And I'm not sure if that's the end or if I ended that. But either way, booyaka shao. We have officially got the puppet, and she is now happy, and we don't have to worry about her anymore. And, oh, what's this? We got a little game. Uh, it's the shell game. Except for, oh, it just rewards us with a bunch of studs. We'll take it. Unfortunately, we don't know if we're getting close to the true wizard requirement or not because the game is not showing it to us. And I don't know if that's a user error if I have to push, like, Dougie said I needed to push the old touchpad. I don't know if that's the case or not, but I, it seems like in the first level it was showing me the studs as I got them up on the meter. But maybe not. I'll have to go back. But hey, look at that. We got a little hack here, a little beep, boop, 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 boop. And once we match the game or connect the dots, la, la, la. That's usually what I say, isn't it? I don't know. It's been a while since one through four, but oh, we've got an app for the old hog on the wall which oh and now Dementor has popped out of a chest that the hog was hiding and uh, as it uh, may be here we actually have to switch spells and uh, take this guy out so one of these days here oh wait for it oh oh expecto patronum and booyaka shao gonna go bye bye and uh, we get the last piece needed we're gonna go ahead and hand that over and take us into the final cutscene hmm All right, Dumbledore's army level complete. Free play unlocked. And check that out. We got the trophy achievement off the beaten track for completing it. Ooh, we fell quite a bit short of the old true wizard requirement there. As you can see, we only got 46%. Um, and based off my math from the stud total there, uh, I believe the grand total would be 45,000 studs. But look at that, we got four of the 200 total gold bricks. So we're making our way, and I uh, have to be honest, the next level starts off a little sluggish too. I get it figured out though, it was just kind of a weird moment. Uh, the whole focus thing. I, I just, I guess I don't have that. I lack the focus. So, anyhow, uh, oh, to the, yeah, uh, that's going to wrap it up for LEGO Harry Potter years five through seven, level two, Dumbledore's Army. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if you guys are looking for the collectibles, we will return once we get all of the story levels completed for our free play. And, uh, all right. If you guys have any questions, comments, or things like that, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. HappyThumbsGaming.com is also the home of our trophy achievement guides in fact doug is currently writing one for this as i am speaking right now depending on when you're watching this the guide should be up and uh it might be a work in progress for a few days as of the release of it but uh, it should eventually get finished um and you guys can use that print it off do whatever you like with it and uh yeah our videos and textual descriptions will be there and in some cases it'll even explain some videos that we never did so uh all right that's gonna go ahead and do it for me as always until next time